speculation now that the fourth reactor is leaning and is in danger of falling. How great a concern is that? It's a very, very serious concern. Um, this, this began as speculation among those of us watching uh, the incident because on the webcam uh, in which you can watch it, you can look at the four reactors, it began to be obvious that uh, building number four was leaning to the right a little bit from the visual field of the webcam. Um, and now just tonight actually uh, in a release of information from the Japanese government, they have confirmed that there has been work started yesterday to shore up the structure of the building and specifically the upper floor. Now in this reactor you have the spent fuel pool that is a much larger spent fuel pool. It has fuel rods from three to four reactors in there and this part of the building is beginning to lean and because of the explosion of reactor three there is some questions about the structural integrity of the building of reactor four and if that were to collapse you would have all of the fuel in that spent fuel pool just scattered about on the ground and outside of increasing uh, very, very high level of contamination, you would also have radiation rise to levels that would make it very problematic for workers to continue to work on the site at all. Now just lastly and uh, briefly if you would Dr. Uh, Jacobs, from what you've been saying it's clear that the situation at Fukushima does remain critical yet the silence that we're getting is quite deafening isn't it? Why aren't we hearing more about a facility that's still at risk of causing great amounts of devastation? Well, in these situations, managing public opinion is as serious an operation as managing the crisis itself. Uh, you, what you have here in Fukushima is you have four reactors that are uh, all still emitting significant amounts of radiation into the environment. So this is not a situation that has been brought under control. It is a situation in which the large releases have been uh, largely, the explosions of the first uh, week have been gone past, but now we just have ongoing leakage so to continue to tell people about that leakage and to continue to provide a lot of information about that leakage will cause higher levels of distress and also the perception that neither TEPCO nor the government is in control of the situation so it's a lot easier to just Resi uh, reduce the amount of information that the public has uh, so that you're able to control the situation at least from the point of view of uh, public opinion and uh, and keep people from panicking Okay, Dr. Robert Jacobs from the Hiroshima Peace Institute. Many thanks for speaking to us about the ongoing situation at Fukushima. Many thanks.